Yeah, I think, it's, I think if you look at any successful teams over the years or in football history, they've always had strong squads. Because if you're trying to compete in every competition, you need, a, you need, you need competition for places. And you, like it's, it's, it's important to have, to have that in a squad where you might get one or two injuries and players have to come in and, and rise to that sort of same level. Um, and uh, it keeps you on your toes. When you get an opportunity, you know you have to take it because if you don't take it, then someone else can come in and, and you might not get in the team for a few weeks. So I think it's healthy. Like I said, trying to achieve special things at the football club, you need that. You need a big squad. You need players that understand what it takes to play for this football club. And um, being consistent, winning football matches, um, playing well, training well every day. And I think we've got that now. Um, and I mentioned it, we had a meeting, and I mentioned that I, I can sense a sort of like a different sort of, a different sort of focus around the group. And I watch the players around the training ground, and especially younger players, um, you know, every, the gym's packed every day. And on days off, the players come in. Sometimes on a day off, you see you'll get 10 players in the gym. And it's, it's, it's nice to see, and I think if, if you've got that at a football club, it's a, it's a, it's a massive sign.